Pathfinder Adventures, the mobile game. Should you play it? Let's find out today on Random Fun. Pathfinder Adventures is based off of the board game with the exact same name. Uh, and that game, of course, is based off of the game Pathfinder itself, which is also kind of based off of D&D in a way. So if you're a fan of either one, I'm sure you'll love this game. Um, it is fun. Uh, the beginning is fairly simple. You choose your team, and then you have to put them in different locations. And your bad guy is going to try to hide in one of these locations. So essentially what you're doing is you're narrowing down the thing and really trying to lock him into one place at the very end. Because as the game goes on, he'll jump around and hide from you. So for my party, I chose Amiri the Barbarian, Ezrin the Wizard, Kyra the Cleric, as well as um, Harsk the Ranger, Valoros the Fighter, and Lem. Because, of course, you need a bard. Duh. Um, anyway, they all have their same kind of strengths and abilities that they would in a usual tabletop or Pathfinder game. Uh, Valorous is a good fighter. Lem has charisma. My cleric has a lot of blessings and high wisdom. It makes sense. It's just like playing a Pathfinder game. Once you get into it, you also notice that a lot of these transfer into the cards themselves. There's just a few main cards in the game, but they all, again, fit in perfectly. You've got weapons that you use to fight with, as well as spells. Uh, spells can also be used in other ways from fighting, to get around obstacles, to charm people, to go invisible, things like that. Uh, you've also got all types of blessings that add tons of bonuses to the game. They're one of my favorite things in it, um, as well as cool items and companions that you can pick up. So you've really got a wide variety of tools and equipment to play with in the game. The game itself also has its own set of blessings, these really act as your timer in the game. When they run out, your entire party dies. So it does have this element of threat during the entire experience, which I really like. One part that I both love and hate is the dice rolling mechanic in this game. One part that I love about it, it feels like I'm playing Pathfinder. The thing I hate about it, they show you a percentage chance. Sometimes when you have like a 95-96% chance to win and you just fail. There is no doubt about it. You get like three ones in a row. It's crazy. So, but hey, that's Pathfinder. Maybe it's like I got a nat one. Who knows? And my one last gripe is that it does have a couple of bugs to it. You'll notice that in this video right here, I was winning, doing so well. And then Amiri just bugged out on me and couldn't do anything. I tried to move her from one location to another, and after that, nothing. I had to forfeit, all my progress, and gone. So, pretty sad, but aside from that, still loving this game. I'm still playing it. Overall, I say give it a shot. You can download it for free. Uh, they give you a couple little intro games that you can do without any charge. And then after that, if you want to buy it, it's like $12. Uh, if you usually buy this as a tabletop game. The tabletop game, I think, is like $50, $60. And I don't even know if it's in print anymore. It's really hard to find. Uh, and a great game. If you can find that, buy that too. I'll try to throw some links in the description below. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.